What is up YouTube, it is DBK, Road to a Million here. Um, I thought I'd quickly create a video on a token called Pangolin. Um, so the ticker name is PNG. Uh, it's sitting at a $9 million market cap with a price at $4.28. Um, I'm going to go into details why I, I think this is undervalued and where I could see it kind of um, going. So if we look at Avalanche, Avalanche is a $2.1 billion market cap and uh, Pangolin is actually the official DEX for Avalanche. So, you know, it's officially supported by Avalanche and Pangolin is only a $9 million market cap and it's essentially going to be the Uniswap built on Avalanche. Um, I'm sure they'll bring out staking soon. It's completely community driven, so there's no development funds and whatnot. Um, so that's pretty cool and at the moment there's over a hundred million dollars in unclaimed tokens from the airdrop and the claimed time ratio whatever ends in two days so it ends on the March 9th so on March 9th you can no longer claim those tokens um, but yeah you know with that hundred million dollars of unclaimed tokens uh, come to on-chain governance at the moment off-chain governance just through our forums where we discuss um, where we want to see happen to those tokens and whatnot um, but w come on-chain governance in two or three months time we can see like proper decentralized government uh, governance um, and what we could do with those tokens, we could burn them all, we could give them back to development, further development, marketing, we could do a second airdrop, you know, the possibilities are literally endless. And with that much money, it's awesome. Um, and there was also a community, uh, I think it was from the team themselves saying that they would uh, put it into pangolin conservation because they're an endangered uh, species and a lot of people kill them for their, uh, you know, their armor or whatever. So... Um, yeah, I feel like that would be a good, you know, cool idea, cool incentive, you know, it could bring, it will be a good marketing campaign, and plus, you know, you can't be all about the money, that's actually a really neat, you know, nice thing to do, it would be a really nice thing to do, so, putting it back to the, you know, pangolins and endangered species, you know, maybe to put it into, you know, a donation to help those guys out, as long as it's a completely legit donation and they actually do do shit then yeah i'm all for that that'll be pretty cool um but yeah what else can i talk about so yeah the reason why i see it being so undervalued is if we go over to the actual exchange itself um it's got 166 million dollars in liquidity on the exchange this exchange went live on the 8th of february um, so basically, in one month, we've seen $170 million enter this exchange, and we've only got an $8 million market cap. So, I'm a $9 million market cap, sorry. But what I'm saying is, this is incredibly undervalued. Because if you talk about the utility on the actual exchange itself, and only seen $9 million in the government's token. This is the Pangolin PNG is the governance token. So wherever you want to see the exchange go, what they want to do on that, you need to own PNG. So PNG is definitely valuable. And um, another neat feature that I'm really hyped about. Uh, where can I find it? Yep. So Avalanche C Chain uh, integration with Rosetta. Rosetta was developed by Coinbase and used by them to integrate blockchains with the exchange. So what I'm kind of sensing here is a potential AVAX listing on Coinbase, which will be super duper 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 bullish for AVAX, Avalanche, and really bring in that user base. Like, it's already building a lot of uh, dApps, and, you know, you're going to see more and more applications built on a Avalanche. Um, and that's when we're, we're going to really see it, you know, kind of blossom. So, and then all that money is going to come to Pangolin, because Pangolin is the official DEX by Avalanche, so it's, you know, it's trusted, you know, you've got the trust there, and, you know, you've got the marketing from that $2 billion market cap, you know, it's a big, Avalanche is a big thing, like, it's it's a really cool blockchain, you know, you get instant settlements with near zero gas fees compared to Ethereum and all that type of stuff, but it also is, like, interoperable with all the blockchains across the board, so, you know, everything, so it's really cool. 
Um, what else can I go into? Yeah. Um. Yeah, and also the if you provide liquidity, it's also very good rewards at the moment. I think it's like two hundred percent per annum on just providing liquidity. So that's a really cool, neat feature. Um, so yeah, w even with that, air, like with those unclaimed tokens, they could even be put back to liquidity providers, you know, incentivizing people to, um, you know, kind of keep on, you know, uh, providing liquidity or encourage more people to provide liquidity and whatnot. So, you know, I could see this easily, you know, if you look at Uniswap, you could say that's kind of the official DEX for Ethereum, uh, at a $15 billion market cap. Um, you've got this one at a $9 million market cap with a $2 billion market cap of a main token, but Avalanche is yet to, you know, it's blossom. So once all the, once it really starts to release more dApps and stuff, you know, game theory, people are going to start to come to AVAX, Avalanche. So yeah, I'm got a big bag of Pangolin and I'm holding strong, see where this can go. Um, I feel like a 10X is very, you know, lenient. You know, over a couple of months, I feel like that's definitely more than possible. So, we'll see what happens, but, so, cheers for watching.